Bowman here from BW1 and in this video I'm going to give you my review of the Lenovo Yoga 2. So let's jump right into it here. So this is the Lenovo Yoga 2 and it may look very familiar because it has a very familiar style and look to it from the original Yoga 2 Pro. Now um, this video is going to be kind of a more a little more abbreviated because a lot of the features you've already, I've kind of already kind of discussed and talked about in the Yoga 2 uh, Pro review that we did. So definitely check out that video because, you know, it pretty much has all the same features such as the sort of the motion gestures that you can do with it. You have all the different modes. You can have your sort of your stand mode here. You can drop it down, bring it up to the tablet mode as you can see right here. And then you can bring it out like this. You can have your tent mode. And your table mode just like that as well too as you can see so you have all the same similar modes and similar features as well too but there's a few different little small things so i'm going to go over the small things mainly inside of this so definitely check out the yoga 2 pro review to just kind of get more of the the technical nuances and stuff so it's going to come different than yoga 2 it's a little bit more uh, sort of the i don't want to say cheaper line but it's sort of the more condensed package to kind of make it a little bit more affordable for folks it comes with a 1080 uh comes with the hd display instead of a um, quad hd display so the same touchscreen interface so you can still kind of slide around and do all the fun stuff there. It's also going to come with a little bit of a smaller package. This is the 11 inch version here. So it's a little bit smaller package, a little more compact. You do have your quick fast charging. You do have your USB 3.0 card reader, your mini, mini HDMI. You have your volume rocker right here, power button, and you have your USB port here on the side as well too. So you do have all those things as well. Now this version that we have is coming with a 500 gigabyte hybrid drive. So part of it with hybrid means you get 500 gigs of storage and then you also get um, a little bit of SSD storage on there as well too for fast uh, sort of for fast application access and stuff to sort of kind of give you the best of both worlds. It's okay in performance, not as, not as fast as an SSD, but it's good for those that want a lot of storage as well too. And also keeps this at a very decent price point as well too. This pretty much starts off at the 479 range or so, 479, 579 range or so with an Intel Pentium processor. I would recommend, I, I would recommend getting this at a bit of a bigger uh, capacity. See here, I'm in the desktop mode now. We can um, actually take a look here. This is running Windows 8.1. We'll actually take a look here. If hopefully you guys can see it, we'll bring up the fancy old Windows 8 so you can kind of see some of the specs here. Probably the guys probably can't see that. Probably not. But it comes with uh, four gigabytes of RAM inside of this. We have a Pentium CPU inside of here, which is kind of the starter CPU for most Intel based devices. I would re definitely recommend instead getting a Core i3 or Core i5, you possibly can inside it if you want to spend a little bit extra money there with it. And it four gives by RAM is basically what it comes with it. If you get one with that has an SSD, that'd be pretty nice as well too. It makes it a little bit faster, but it's a nice package. I really like traveling around with this. A little bit be better than I like my Yoga 2 Pro traveling with this. It might, it might be because of the 11 inch size, but it just felt nice and compact and light and easy to bring around. Just kind of close it. Really nice compact package. It's really good for, I think, someone that's a student that's on a budget is looking for a nice and light laptop. You can just kind of bring this with you and it's just very easy just go boom just like that and you're right into your computer really simple really easy i really kind of like sort of how this sort of all kind of comes together the keyboards been very good as well it's the same nice lenovo sort of chiclet style keyboard as you can see it's pretty nice the trackpad has been a pretty good experience as well too and overall it's just a pretty good package coming here from lenovo it's like i said it, a lot of this is pretty much similar to the yoga to Pro, they just kind of took took in a few little things. Mostly, it's been internal specs, such as the screen and internal specs that have made it a much more affordable price package. So this is definitely someone that wants that Yoga 2 Pro, but can't quite afford the price on that and need something a little bit more affordable, a little bit more compact. That's what the Yoga 2 11 is going to do for you. They do have a 13 inch version of this, but overall, I really have liked this package and definitely would recommend it to anyone out there. So the Yoga 2 Pro. Um, Yoga 2 rather, it's a really nice device overall. I would definitely recommend this as, as getting with an i3 or an i5 processor and getting it, if you could possibly get it with solid state storage and configuration, I would definitely choose that as well too. But overall, very good package. And this is really good for somebody who's, like I said, just looking for a laptop, likes the yoga feel, wants a tablet, or, you know, wants a tablet mode when they want that tablet mode, just to bust it out like that. I like doing this because it just freaks people out when you kind of go Whoa, like that. <laughs> it's pretty cool just to do that to people. But, you want the tablet, you want the different modes, and you really like the yoga styling, but you don't want to pay that Yoga 2 Pro price, that's where the Yoga 2 
is going to come in. And the yoga, yoga two pro, oh, yoga two light. We'll just call this yoga two light, I, I guess. It's the easier way to kind of say it. But this is Bowman here from BW1.com. Reminding you, if you like this video, be sure to share it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, connect with us on all the other social networks. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching. Thank you.